I'm Mrs. Franklin. I teach government at West High School, and this is KCS at Home Summer Edition. This is 10th grade U.S. Government and Civics, and today we'll be talking through Task 4 about the Judicial Branch. If this video is hard to understand, you could turn on closed captions if available, or adjust the playback speed to slow down the video. Both of these first options are found in the settings for this video. You could also consider watching short clips, then pause, listen, and watch again, or ask someone in your home to watch the video with you. Stop frequently and talk to your partner about what you heard and understood. Today, you will need your KCS at Home Judicial Branch Assignment page, which is task number four on the KCS at Home website and a piece of notebook paper. First, you'll read through the assignment and make sure you can access all of the links. Up at the top, you'll see all of the standards for the Judicial Branch module, but today we'll be focusing on GC 19, which is to analyze Article 3 of the Constitution as it relates to judicial power, and GC 22, which says describe the Supreme Court's role in determining the constitutionality of laws and acts of the legislative and executive branches. To accomplish all of this, today we'll read an article about the structure, powers, and functions of the courts. You'll complete some activities to apply your knowledge from the reading, and then you'll play a game about navigating state and federal court systems. Finally, by the end of the lesson today, you should be able to answer the question, what is the role of the judicial branch in our government, and how does it carry out that role? Go ahead and click the first link to begin. It should bring up this article called Judicial Branch in a Flash. As you read the article, take notes on your notebook paper on what is the Supreme Court? What is the difference in state and federal courts? What is the difference in a criminal versus a civil case? How does a trial court work? How does an appellate court work? And what is judicial review? I'll go ahead and look through the article with you to show you where you should see this article, Judicial Branch in a Flash. The first section talks about the Constitution and which courts it creates. The next section talks about our dual court system. Then we talk about which court deals with which type of case. This criminal versus civil case, civil section talks about difference in criminal and civil cases. And in this last section on the first page talks about how those trials work. Okay. On the back or on the next part of the page, it talks about appellate courts and what it means to have an appeal. And then it talks about the process of go moving through those different levels of the court system. The next section talks about judges and courts of appeal. And then the final section talks about the power of judicial review. Go ahead and read through the article, take your notes, and when you're finished, come back to the video and we'll talk about it together. Welcome back. You should have learned that the Supreme Court is the highest court in the United States and the only court created in the Constitution. You should also have learned that we have a dual court system, meaning we have both state and federal courts, and federal courts hear cases that hear with the entire United States, and state courts hear cases that about state laws only. Criminal cases are the result of a crime being committed, and they try to determine guilt. Civil cases are a result of a disagreement, and they try to determine who is right. A trial court is the first court to hear a case. If the defendant doesn't agree with the verdict, they can seek an appeal in an appellate court. And judicial review is the power of the Supreme Court to decide whether a law or court decision is constitutional or not. After you've read the article and taken your notes, you can go ahead and click on the next link for activities to apply your new knowledge. To complete this activity called Judicial Branch in a Flash, you can either print it out, write your answers on notebook paper, or download the attachment and type your responses in the PDF. We'll go through the activity together first so you know what to look for. When you click the link, you should see this activity. The first thing you're going to do is you are going to use your reading to fill out, to complete the sentences here on the left, all right? So you're gonna to wanna to have the reading that you just used handy when you're doing this. On the next side, you're going to compare trial courts and appellate courts by sorting these different roles and powers of those courts into this Venn diagram. Then you will talk about the order of some events here. And so you'll number each of these sections, one through three, okay, in each of these sections to determine which order they would occur in. On the back or the last page is a crossword puzzle. So you will use these clues down here at the bottom to complete the crossword puzzle here at the top. Go ahead and complete these activities. And when you're finished, come back to the video and we'll go over it together. 
Franklin, CS at home, West Ho, and you can also pardon summer edition. Go ahead and go over this together. You can pause the video to check your answers or just hang out and I'll go over them with you. The keys are on this slide and the next slide. So the first thing you had to do is complete the sentences. So you had to use the article from the previous uh, activity. Um, so the first one says the only court in the Constitution creates is the Supreme Court. That was right from our notes. So you should have gotten that one really easily. The next section, also from our notes, says the two court systems in the United States are the state and federal court systems. OK, we also have two kinds of legal cases. We have civil and criminal cases. The next one says the job of the Court of Appeals is, and you had to say to see if the trial courts made a mistake, okay, to change their decision. And it's difficult to take a case to the Supreme Court because the Supreme Court chooses which cases to hear and they don't choose very many. They, they get petitioned for a lot of cases every year and they only choose a few of them, okay? Number six says if you, number six says if you lose a case in the trial court, you can appeal to a higher court. Seven says, and if an appellate court confirms a case, it means the verdict stays the same. So remember, the verdict was the decision in the court. Eight says, if a law is unconstitutional, the Supreme Court can strike it down or declare it to be unconstitutional. Nine says, evidence is used for proving that one person's side of the story is what really happened. And a trial with no jury is called a bench trial. OK, so that was that complete the sentence section. The next part is for making comparisons. And again, you had to sort these into this Venn diagram. So you had to say which description is for trial court or appellate court. OK, so A says here civil cases and both of them here civil cases. The trial court would just hear them first and then the appellate court can hear them. B says might have a jury trial. And that's going to go with the trial court. C says does not hear cases for the first time, and that's going to be an appellate court. Appellate courts do not hear cases for the first time. They hear them for the second or third or fourth time. Okay. D says here's criminal cases, and both courts, so we'll put it in the middle of the diagram, can hear criminal cases. E says reviews a verdict to look for mistakes. That's going to be the appellate court. F says usually has three judge panels, and that's again going to be the appellate court. G says it hears cases for the first time. That's going to go with the trial court. And H says works with laws and both courts are going to work with laws. So we'll put that in the middle. Then the last part talks about the order that some events would occur. OK, so for this first little section, you would say the first verdict is appealed as first. Then the court of appeals remains the case. And then three is a new trial begins. The next section starts with a trial is held in district court. An appeal is made to the Court of Appeals, and then finally the Supreme Court agrees to hear a case. The second to last section says the members of the jury are chosen, evidence is presented to the jury, and the jury returns a verdict. And then lastly, Congress passes a law, the Supreme Court hears a case about the law, and the Supreme Court strikes down a law. Remember, this last section is the process of judicial review, which we learned about in our reading. The next activity that you had to do was a crossword puzzle. You can go up or down. 11 is when the appellate court rejects a verdict, it reverses it. 14, this court gets to choose which cases to hear, okay, and that's Supreme Court. They get to pick which ones they hear. They don't have to hear all of them. 18 says this type of court reviews a trial court's decision, and that's appellate. 19 says the Supreme Court's power to decide what is constitutional, and that's judicial review. 23 says when there are more, is more than one judge, a group of judges is called a panel. The lowest court in the federal system, okay, is the district court. And choosing between the federal and state court system depends on the laws involved in the case. Now we'll do the down clues. The first court to hear a case is the trial court. People or things can prove one side of version, one side's version of what happened. Okay, and that's evidence. Four down says when appellate court sends a case back to the trial court. Okay, that's remand. Five, one kind of evidence is a witness. Eleven down, what an appellate court does with a case, it, 
is review. 12 down is a document that created the judicial branch, and that's a constitution. It was created by the Article 3 of the Constitution. Okay. Type of case relating to people's rights is a civil case. Court system that deals with state laws is state courts. Court system that deals with United States laws, federal courts. Judges wear robes. And one kind of evidence, another kind of evidence is a photograph. 20 down is a type of case about someone accused of committing a crime, and that's going to be a criminal case. Asking an appellate court to hear a case is called an appeal. And a type of trial that has no jury is a bench trial. Now that you've read an article, done some activities, you're ready to play a game called Court Quest, where you will help people decide if their case should go to federal or state court. Okay, I want you to make sure you click through the instructions before you start, and I'm going to show you what, I'm at, what um, this game looks like before you get started. The last link on your page to take you to a website called iCivics and to a game called Court Quest. Okay, uh, mine's loading right now, but here it might ask you to enable Flash Player, and you'll just click on the screen to enable Flash Player. You'll be able to click here to play the game. Once it's all loaded, it's going to prompt you to sign in, register, or say no thanks, okay? Um, Icevix is a website that has a ton of games and activities on it, um, and the membership is completely free. So if you already have a membership, you can log into it, you can register for one, or you can do like I'm going to do and just say no thanks, I'd rather not for now, okay? And you don't have to have a membership to play. So this game is also going to have a game, and then you'll click here to say new game, okay? You can change the settings up here at the top. Confirm this. And this is going to be kind of a reference for you so you can see how the court system works in the United States. It's available at any time during the game, so you can click on it and see what you want to do. And if you would like, you can play the game in Spanish. Go ahead and play Court Quest, and when you're finished, come back to the video and we'll talk about it together. Now that you've read your article, done your activities, and played a game, you should be able to answer this question. It says, what is the role of the judicial branch in our government, and how does it carry out that role? Okay, you can answer this question in a paragraph form, or you can start making a list of the things that the judicial branch does to help it carry out its role. Once you finish answering this question, go ahead and unpause the video so we can debrief the lesson together. Today, you should have learned the judicial branch is in charge of interpreting the laws that are passed by the legislative branch and implemented by the executive branch. We have both federal courts that deal with national laws and state courts that deal with state laws. Criminal courts determine guilt or innocence of a crime, while civil courts determine who is at fault in a disagreement. All cases start in a trial court, but that decision can be appealed in an appellate court. And the Supreme Court has the final say in whether a law or decision is constitutional or not. Thanks for watching KCS at Home. I hope you're having a good